Hello my friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to be here and share a word with you today. <clears throat> it's a way that I, I have to share a word of the Bible with you. And I want to speak to you on the fact that <clears throat> uh, your faith will get you through. Your faith will get you through. We need to believe. And to you know as we believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Jesus said that. <clears throat> I speak about a five to ten minute message and I pray it will be a blessing to your life and to your heart. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah, the 48th chapter, verse 17. <clears throat> it says, Come ye near unto me, and hear this, I have not spoken in secret, no, but from, uh, from my own since the time that it was there, I am. And now the Lord God has called you. Thus saith the Lord, Thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, your God, which teaches you to profit, and which leads you by the way that you should go. I want us to see that truth, that the Lord says, I am the Lord your God, and I have spoken, and I have told you, and I'm telling you again, that I'm going to lead you in the way that you should go. I'm speaking to some right now and you're wondering just what decision to make, just what direction to go, just what what uh, si uh, the decision you need to make. But the Lord God will show you. He will help you. The Lord God will help you to find a way when there seems to be no way. He is there to help you. And He wants you to believe that. Believe and you will receive. Believe and you will live and you will be victorious and you will go on and God will make a way and that way is right because God is love and he cares for you and he said I'm going to lead you in the way you should go so you need to just turn everything over to him as best you can it's not always easy to turn loose of self but it's something we need to do every day turn loose of self and Turn to God. Take, turn loose of self. Take hold of God by faith. And believe his word when he said, I will help you. And I will lead you in the way that you should go. Believe that and know his truth. And God will help you find that way. God loves you very much. And he's here to help you. We need to find the, the truth in the word of God. Over in First Timothy, the second chapter and verse 15 it says study to show yourself approved to God a workman that needs not be ashamed because he's rightly dividing the word of truth and so here's a word that we need to recognize that when we seek God's way and God's will for our lives we need to understand that we get it largely from the word of God study to show yourself then a uh, approved of God, a workman that no need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. And when you divide the word of truth, you're going to find the truth is there. For instance, over in the Romans, the fourth chapter, it tells us how we're redeemed and saved by grace and brought into a right relationship with God. And when we have a right relationship with God, we have a right way that we're walking in this life. He'll show us. In the Bible, in the fourth chapter of Romans, in verses 4 and 5, it says this, Now to him that works, is his reward is not considered of grace, but of obligation. Now if a person works for someone, and he's working for a wage, then he's not receiving his money or his wages. He did not receive that as a gift. It's an obligation. He's earned it. He's earned it. He's worked for it. But it says, that's not the way you receive salvation. Now to him that works is, is that reward. Reckon not of grace, but of, of obligation. But to him that works not, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So you see, you're saved by faith. Not by righteousness. Not by doing something on your own. You're saved by the grace of God. You're saved by the holy power of Jesus Christ when he went to that cross and died for all your sins. He paid for all of them. 
They're all paid for. Hallelujah. And now you're free to walk by faith and trust in God and know the joyful sound. And the Lord is with you. And He'll always be there. And He'll walk with you in every time that you face in every area of life. And He will lead you in the way you should go. But he's done, He does it by grace. It's not by something that you do and then He returns because it's a debt He owes to you. No, no. He does it by grace. That's a gift. And the gift is the righteousness of God. God gives you the, His righteousness when you believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you receive the righteousness. For in Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, it says, or fifth chapter, it says, For He, Jesus, was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. And so you see, you have the righteousness of God when you believe. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me and ask God to forgive you, Jesus, to come in your heart. And you'll receive the righteousness of God. And that's important. That's important. Pray this prayer like this. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I do believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again. I believe He's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Do that and you'll live forever. And you'll have the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. The righteousness of God. I want you to know that. And that's what we need to know. And as we receive that, we receive the glorious truth that God is there to help us. And so we need to study to show ourselves approved unto God. Workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing His word of truth and finding that we're saved by the grace of God through Christ and then knowing that He loves us and He's going to lead us in the way that we should go. Whatever you have to face today is not too hard for Him. Live by faith today and you'll never worry about tomorrow. Live by faith and know that God is there to help you now and everything is going to work some way to the pleasure of God and to your own good. Let him have his way. It takes time to let him have his time, but he'll do it. Believe. Wait on the Lord. Trust him right now. Say, praise God, I believe. And when you believe, you have victory. And you're going in the way that you should go. You're going to make the right decision. You're going to make the right choice. And God's going to lead you in the way. Because he's good, he's great, he's wonderful God. And he loves you very much. Cast your care on Him, for He cares for you. Love Him because He loves you. Love others because God loves you. And so we find the answer by faith, by faith. I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. And I have called you. And I have said to you, I will lead you in the way that you should go. Praise God. May it be so. In Jesus' name, amen.